Human beings have an immune system for a reason, and that is to protect us from anything that is getting in our bodies that is not supposed to be there. The immune system itself is incredibly complicated. And without better understanding how the immune system works, we're never going to get to the bottom of how to protect ourselves. I was originally an immunologist, and uh, it's kind of shocking to me a, a combination of where we are all these years since my graduate school days. On the one hand, you know, we have lists of names of cells and chemicals that we didn't know existed that we now consider vital parts of the immune system. But on the other hand, the level of mystery is almost the same. The body and the immune system are made up of millions of uh, parts and millions of separate cells. And if you pull any one of those out, it's hard to make any meaning of that. But when we put them all together into one integrated picture, it's like a map that can teach us. Once we have the map of the immune system, we'll know where we want to go and how to get there. The immune system is determining a lot uh, about our health, our diseases. It's about infectious disease and the cancer, and it's also allergy. And it's very important to understand how this works together. What we've learned over the years is that the immune system plays a central role probably in all human diseases at some level. Um, probably the best example right now is in terms of the role that the immune system plays in battling cancer. Um, some of the most effective therapies that are coming out currently are therapies that are designed to boost the immune response to cancer cells. And these therapies are harnessing our own immune system to help us eliminate the disease. We think the immune system is sort of a double-edged sword. So uh, when you're ill, sometimes you're getting rid of a germ, but at the same time you're causing uh, a temporary discomfort or damage to tissues in order to get rid of that germ. And in some cases, is the immune system even goes awry and causes damage without any germ around, such as in autoimmunity and things like that. So we think if we understand the rules of autoimmunity, then that will help us design vaccines better. I have real confidence that the next 10 years is going to see an absolute explosion in our understanding of immunology.